Hey Taurus, welcome to your reading for March. Can't believe it's gone so quick, but I'm so looking forward to these brighter days, right? Longer days and bright mornings. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month. To my lovely, loyal subscribers, welcome back. Okay, Taurus, money, money, money. Um, it's going to rain on you here. It's a good time if you are, okay, uh, investing here. This one wants to jump out. And union. So those of you who was worried like, oh, I don't want a message about money. You have it all. Stop complaining here. It's time to sow those seeds in spring, right? And of course, we will have the spring equinox on the 20th of March. Let's see. Chemistry here coming out. Um, there is a strong magnetic attraction here that's pulling this union, obviously, together. Make the effort now. Okay, so make the effort with your money. Uh, get yourself financially stable and love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive there, Taurus. Let's see um, what's going on here. Taking care of a business, no doubt. Let's see. See the messages for you. And of course, I will leave information regarding what decks of cards I use and how to contact me for personal readings in the description box so go ahead and check out the description box there guys okay well, let's see what we have here four of pentacles spending a look how you're holding on to those pentacles taurus <laughs> i told you um you know don't hold on to your money so tight especially when manifesting money or uh, working on new things spend it as if you already have all this money and it will flow a lot easier um I guess this is as well that you never let go of the idea of building this firm foundation with the four of pentacles. I guess you're still making the effort, but also understand, you know, when we make the most effort or take the biggest risks, you know, they have the biggest rewards, right? So great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take here. I feel like some of you were guided to hold on and wait for somebody. Okay, page of pentacles. Yeah, while you was learning this lesson, we can see all these pentacles, right? Um, beautiful. You guys want to be seeing that. You might be learning something new in regards to business here as well, because this is going to bring a big return. Whatever it is um, you're learning about is going to bring a big return. This page of pentacles has a huge pentacle here. So if you are following your hobby and turning it into something to do with your career, it's going to pay off here with these money cards. Um, let's see. Ten of Wands. It's like the struggling is over here. The, you know, saving your pennies and things like that, saving up for rainy days is over. It's out the window. End of a cycle with money troubles here. Um, if it's to do with romance here, I feel like the lessons you have learned, maybe even over the last four years, struggling with love and uh, regards to that, um, you're now going to have a big reward, a big return um, from the things. Look at it. Look at it, Taurus. I love it. You've done all this spring cleaning and it was a big task, you know, um, getting pe having to cut people out of your life, changing jobs here, maybe. Um, but look at the rewards. The lovers here. This is like divine unions going to happen now let's see this can also be a return to good health with the lovers taurus um so you know if it's you know been weighing you down and things like that i see you um eating better getting more healthy taking walks small baby steps lead to these massive health rewards as well five of pentacles there so it could be somebody who's left you out in the cold and you had to learn to love yourself and learn self-respect and healthy boundaries. Um, all that being said, we now have this union on the table. Do not come from a place of lack. When I was talking up here about the money, spend it as if you have it, love as if you have it, right? And it will manifest. If we come from a place of lack, like I don't have somebody in my life or I don't have enough money to start a new business, what happens with we delay things that way. So I feel here just to pull things in, 
with this chemistry understand that the divine is working major arcana is what the divine is doing and the minor arcana is your reaction to what the divine is doing okay so when you when the divine sent a lesson your way you chose to learn when there was hard work to be done you did the work okay um there's something might be going on with your finances here but i'm telling you it will improve uh, yeah there's an ending coming here and a rebirth that's going to happen transformation here with the death card coming out changes you did not even see coming okay this death card is reversed so i feel like for some of you this was somebody who left you out in the cold and you're not expecting them to return I wouldn't be surprised if we see the tower and that it's going to be a big shock to you. But that being said, some of you had faith and held on and trusted and had faith here to and did the hard work, right? Knowing that this was meant to be. So now you get your reward, the union, the transformation, the transitioning, the changes that need to happen here. And that's, that's wonderful. There you go. I told you, Six of Cups. Here they come back into your life. This is somebody you already have shared memories with. This is your soulmate. The Six of Cups is a soulmate card here. The lovers, the union, it's all pointing to, I guess, getting back together. Some look more like new love coming in, but this looks more like um, somebody who had faith and held on, um, even with, you know, maybe no talking to them, no you know, contact with them, the, maybe the last thing that you had from them was this is over and you just felt it wasn't. So you did the work, held on, and now your reward is this union. You're being pulled towards each other. So not only are you feeling the pull, they are also feeling the pull, the connection. Two of pentacles now. Yeah, they are... I believe you've waited some time and this is why I feel like it could even be like up to four years that you've waited with no connection, no talking. You just had blind faith. This was heavy. Um, so this, there was this waiting going on here with the seven of pentacles. Now the seven pentacles has split. There's no more waiting to be done, right? That This union is coming. It's happening. It's like the decision was taken out of your hand and their hand because Either you was like juggling too many things, too many responsibilities and stuff that, you know, when we hit these endings and roadblocks, we're redirected and that's what's happened here. The divine is redirecting you guys back together. Let's see if we have any more messages, but it's a wonderful message for those who want it. You made the effort. I felt that in the beginning, you never gave up hope or you never gave up the effort here and you're now about to be rewarded with the greatest love of all with this union stand your ground uh seven of wands yeah there was the challenges you faced right there was no getting away from it there was no going around it the work had to be done you had to stand your ground you had to do it alone here even and keep going when everybody else told you forget about them give up on them they're not worth it or whatever you know because the seven of wands is people um challenging your beliefs but you never let go with the four of pentacles you had a belief in this foundation and it's paying off good for foundation and you had a belief in this firm foundation it's reiterated here again with this four of pentacles that it's firm you built your you know faith on something strong here you knew it it was this intuition that was telling you um you know this is the one for you and i'm willing to do all the work i'm willing to sacrifice i'm willing to maybe cut off people who wasn't treating me right or crossing my boundaries here and it's made you more romantically attractive even if it was that person you had to cut off because they wasn't treating you right now they understand that um they need to treat you better here I wish this was a personal reading so I could be nosy on the other side <laughs> and see what's going on with them because it definitely feels like you've done the hard work, you never gave up, um, the chemistry and the pull was always there. Now, so is the union. And let's see here what we have. The moment I realign 
with love, clear direction is presented to me. And I think that's maybe because we talked about the roadblock. So for those of you who are feeling, which way do I go? Is this for me? When you're realigned with love, you'll know which way to go, which, way, which message is for you. My energy creates my reality. What I focus on is what I will manifest. This is what we was talking about in the Five of Pentacles. If we focus on lack, I don't have this to start a new business. We delay and make it harder for ourselves. I don't have love. I don't see them in my immediate world. Then that makes it harder and just brings delays, but it'll happen eventually. You've got to learn to manifest in love and create there, okay? And let's see. In any moment, I can surrender to the powerful presence of love through prayer, contemplation, and stillness. So, like I said, anytime you're in doubt, just quieten things down, get out in nature, um, do all the things you've been learning to do to ground yourself here. You have a firm foundation to stand on, so believe in it, right? Trust in it. You've done it this far, keep going, stand your ground. Surrender even more to this higher power that is pulling you and your soulmate together here. It's such a beautiful energy. Oh, the universe has my back. I guess that should be your affirmation because I didn't mean to pull an extra card, but my hand automatically did it. So you definitely here need to trust just a tiny little bit more. If you're starting to feel any sort of doubt with the Five of Pentacles, um, just meditate. And like I said, get out in nature because now it's spring, we can see these beautiful new beginnings and blossoming out in nature. And say if you look at a tree and it's not got all its leaves and it's not looking its best, you understand um, within nature that change needs to happen to bring about new life, new beginnings, rebirths here. So it's like your spring cleaning or had to spring clean everything that wasn't serving you out of your life with that 10 of wands. You had to stand your ground even if it was your own children here because we can see children indicated with the page and the six of cups and you've done it. So don't give up now, okay? Because it's just about to happen. You've got to... It may have felt like at times with the Two of Pentacles that, yeah, every time I, you know, have hope and then I get something else that sort of brings me down with that Ten of Wands. I get some other responsibilities that make me start to feel this lack or, let's say, surprise bills um, if it's to do with money. Um, well, <laughs> the higher we ascend the faster we clear karma so it doesn't mean that less things will happen to us actually we can find that we might have more challenges to face during this time so it's like learning on the job here um and i can see and i know it was a big job and it was difficult but you've done it so you deserve your reward so you don't deserve like um coming so far and giving up you are building a solid um, a foundation for yourself, for your family or your children here if you have them, um, in order for this union to happen and to come together. I'm pretty sure, I, I just joked that I wish this was a personal reading so I could nosy on the other person, um, but I'm pretty sure if the divine is bringing you together and you're both feeling the pull, you've both done the work and it's something to be proud of, be proud of yourself and love yourself. You would be proud of another person who went back to school and, you know, got new um, education and stuff. So be proud of yourself. Love yourself. Pat yourself on the back and understand you deserve all this money. And you certainly deserve all this love and this home life that you are building here. Some of you could be actually physically spring cleaning your house. And without knowing, this person is going to turn up at your door and they're going to knock twice they're gonna knock twice and you're gonna be like not expecting them but you'll be glad you did that spring cleaning that's for sure good luck taurus 